Now we have successfully retargeted our Mixmile animation to the Unreal Mannequin and created an anime montage. I now want to use that montage with the player character. Before we proceed, however, I should point out I've gone back to using Visual Studio for this series because Ryder does all sorts of clever things, which has been confusing a few people. Most people are likely to have Visual Studio. Now to use the montage, we need a new action mapping so that a key or gamepad button can be used to use that animation. And we need to open the project settings and under engine input, this is the old currently deprecated system. I'm going to add a new action mapping. I'm going to call it attack. I will set this to a gamepad button to the right shoulder. There it is. This is on the front of the gamepad on the right and it's at the top. There's two buttons, one above the other. The lower one is the trigger button. You can add a keyboard button to this if you want instead if you don't have a gamepad. We don't need to save that because it will remember. The next step is to add blueprint code to the animation blueprint to use the montage we created previously. So under content characters, mannequins and animations, there are these two blueprints. The player character uses ABP Quinn, but that inherits from this one from Manny. So we alter Manny because it's the parent class if you like and I want the anim graph open if it's not you can double click on the left so we need to open the state machine state for locomotion which is not that one it's inside here so if I go to main states if I open main states and I double click on locomotion we get this now this is Unreal Engine 5 it's going to be a bit different from Unreal Engine 4 they've already added a cached pose which is what we will be using but we need to add extra stuff to use the montage so I'm going to duplicate that and we need a slot node don't we this represents a slot in the montage so it's set to default group which i think is correct now what we want now is a node called layered blend per bone there it is and that's going into the wrong input it needs to go into the second one the output of this cached pose now goes into the base pose and we then connect the output that to the I'll put animation, the result. Now, if you select the layered blend per bone, there is a layer set up and it's got one element in here, which we've got to alter. I expand it. This entry in this array has got no branch filters. So I add one. And we want the bone name, which is going to be spine underscore oh one you've got to get the case right you've got to get the name exactly right and that is the sort of first bone in the spine if i look at the montage this one if you look at the skeleton tree you can see you've got a pelvis and then this bone and this is one we're going to use if i click on it it's the one at the very base yes it's here it's sort of like just below the navel or something but that means we're going to use this animation from that point up to the head which was retargeted so I'm going to close that so spine 01 I need to compile and save so if I go to the code editor I need to open the header for the character tutorial character and before the generated header don't put it afterwards it won't work we put in an include for the anim montage, isn't it? Dot H. In the private section, we need an exposed property. So we just got a pointer to a, a UN in montage. Anyway, I need a new function, a new void function. I'm going to call it on attack. This is the function we're going to call when the player presses the attack button. I 
need to bind this so I'll just duplicate that and it's attack isn't it So in this function, the code is quite simple. We make sure that the pointer isn't null. And that's all we do. We're going to build it from Unreal. That was a success. Now, I think it's in here, yes. So in content third person blueprints, we've got the blueprint class for the player character. And if you double click that, you'll see now we've got this montage entry and it's got nothing in it. So we've got to set that and there's only one. So it's the punch attack montage. I'm going to recompile and whoops, save. If I get my game pad, controller and play it now has a punch it's attack animation the feet are a bit odd though because if you move it slides as you punch I suppose I'll just possibly later on disable forward movement as you punch or something but uh, I think that will do for this video. In the next one, we're going to apply this to the NPC.